Peace, shalom. My name is my brother E. I'd like to welcome you back to another Daily Post of God's ministry. Um, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit minister to me as I minister unto you. Um, I'm do a prayer as I always do first. Start off with a prayer. Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, through the power of your Holy Ghost, your Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that raised your son Yeshua HaMashiach from the grave, the same Spirit that fell on the apostles, at the Pentecostal that caused them to speak in tongues, that caused them to cast out demons and devils, and to raise sick people and lame and heal the sick and the cripple. That same spirit I call upon to touch me and to touch those under the sound of my voice, to bring peace in the hearts of those who are troubled and worried. Father, I pray and I speak peace into the hearts. The peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, I pray for a shift right now for many sadness and depression that people are going through. I ask you to shift, shift the atmosphere in them and all around them and around their belongings, their property. Shift it with the peace, your peace, not as the world giveth, but as you giveth, your only begotten son giveth. Give them the peace, Father, right now to touch them and those who they're taking care of right now. I pray for the love that covers a mantle to our sins to cover those who need love, true love. That same love that Yeshua HaMashiach, your only begotten son, went to the cross for. That same love that caused him to rise from the grave the third day to be a testimony, to be a testimony, to give glory to your kingdom. That same love, I pray and I ask to fall upon all those on the sound of my voice and I ask for that love to work and penetrate every fiber of the being of the person listening. And that love swells up and magnifies and grows and grows. That love, that strong love that people have been missing, been seeking, that love that's uncompromisable, that love unconditional, let it feed the spirits and the minds and the hearts and the homes, family, children, loved ones, from person to person, let that love flow, Father. Let your love flow. The kind of love that causes people to rebuke sins, inequities, and transgressions. The kind of love that causes people to rebuke Satan, Lucifer, and the spirit of the Antichrist. The same kind of love that causes people to follow your commandments, to delight in your laws and your statutes. That same kind of love that brings people to you repenting, asking for forgiveness, for anything or everything that they involved in or done that was a sin. That same kind of love, Father, I ask you to loosen it right now upon the listeners. And may that love work miracles. May that love work miracles to bring a testimony to who you are, Father. May that love bring testimony against the enemy. Because the enemy's alive, Father, I ask that your love to show itself in the listener's life right now. Let them be filled with love. Let them be filled with unconditional love, Father. Let them bask in your love, Father. Let them know that they are loved. Let them know why you sent your son, Father. Let them be filled with love. Let all the anger and frustration leave them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach. Father, I pray for restoration, restoration of family members right now, and siblings, and, and, and sisters, and brothers, and, and aunts, and uncles. I pray for restoration right now, Father, to fall upon all those on the sound of my voice, those who are suffering from family members going astray that's in the world. Father, I pray that you loosen your angels Set forth to minister to those who's here to salvation to go get the ones who are your children, Father, who are lost in this world. Loosen your angels to guard them, to protect them. Your children are worried about their loved ones, Father. Their children, whoever it is, ask you to loosen your angels to retrieve what the enemy has taken from your camp, Father. Father, we know that you have children in the world who are going through things, who are lost, 
and they are people who are constantly praying for them. Father, I pray for this prayer to magnify on top of their prayer. So this prayer grows strong with the listeners' prayers and the prayer work together in harmony to bring a supernatural deliverance for the people that they're praying for and to bring them back into the fold, Father. Bring them back into your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Cleanse them, dust them off. Forgive them from all their sins, inequities, and transgressions. Let them be filled with love, Father, the love that will cause them to come back to you, Father. I seal this prayer through the blood of Christ, through the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. All right. So, the Holy Spirit was ministering to me today. And uh, for a couple of days now. And um, it was a beautiful kind of, um, you know, reassurance to me. Because sometimes we, we think that we can do all things and everything. And we try. As human beings, we try and try. But uh, I'm going to read you scripture that the Holy Spirit gave me, and then I'm going to go into what Abba wants you to know. Okay? Um, the scripture is Luke 18, verse 27. The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. If there are matters or situations that you have done humanly possible in your rank, and your strength, and you just done all you can. As Luke 18, verse 27 says, the things which are impossible with men, those things that are impossible for you to change or to help people or to, 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 to move up or to do anything that's out of your reach. Things are possible with God. Abba, the God of Israel, all things are possible with him. Abba wants you to give these things over to him. And Abba wants you to read Luke 18, verse 27, over the person or people that you're praying for, loved ones, family, um, situations that are uncertain, un unbreakable, and you need a breakthrough. Abba says, this will, this will, this is not hope, this will, this will work. You pray this over the person. You pray this over the situation. Luke 18, verse 27. The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. And you read that scripture over the situation of the person. Then you say, Father, Abba, God of Israel, these things are possible with you. I come to you because my loved ones are lost. And I need you to heal them, deliver them, free them. With you, all things are possible. And I know that you could bring them back into the fold. I know that you could deliver them and free them. I know all things are possible with you. Abba, I want you to speak just like that from your heart. Your heart is ready. Your spirit is ready, Abba said. But this is the extra encouragement that you need. I know this is going to help someone. Um, I'd like to thank all those who support God's ministry from the bottom of my heart and every being of my soul as Abba's witness. I thank you for any anything that you have done for God's ministry. Um, may Abba bless you with triple and magnify your proportions of blessings that overtake you, overwhelm you with joy. And I pray for all those who have helped out in God's ministry. You guys don't understand what I do for y'all. Because your father loves you. He sure loves you. So definitely I'm going to love you and do whatever they want me to do for you. So I just want to give a special thanks for anything that you guys have done for God's ministry. You know who you are. Okay. Um, Luke 18, verse 27. Um, pray this with your heart in it. And you're going to see a miracle. And please give a testimony if anything has changed after this prayer. My name is Brother E. I'd like to thank you for coming to another Daily Post of God's Ministry. Peace and Shalom. Love you.